Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Hold and Modify. It's YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And yes, Q is back again today with a quick video. Yes, the quick ones, not the long ones. And this is to cover a, a neat website that's been found that's a, a big archive and collection of links, as far as I can tell, to more popular common websites, but all in one spot uh, and clearly laid out so that you can click through and see what's available. And uh, you can also search. Now I'm using eyebrows and I'm using uh, my emulated WinUEE environment. And this is because I don't actually have any real Amiga with network capability. Despite all these computers, I none of them connect to the web. So I like to use uh, WinUEE for this purpose because I wanted to show you using this website on uh, a native retro environment. And that's because that's one of the claims that they make is being compatible with older browsers and computers so that you don't have to do it on a Windows or a Mac or a Linux machine. You can just jump onto your, your real Amiga or your Atari or your Apple and just hit this website and look look around. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna use the latest version of Eyebrows. I don't own it, unfortunately, not yet. And that's a shame on me, I probably should get it. But again, none of my Amigas have networking. So I, I really would only be using it in this emulated environment. And just to confirm, if you're wondering about the emulated environment, it's an Amiga 4000 NTSC running a 50 megahertz 68060. And it has been tuned to match the speed of a real Amiga 50 megahertz 60 So there's no cheating on the speed here. It will not be super, super hyper fast uh, emulation. It will be more real world 50 megahertz 60 emulation. So we've gone ahead and fired up eyebrows and we've got the website up here. And I'm gonna put this in the description, but the website is is just http, you know, colon forward slash forward slash discmaster.textfiles.com. That's it, that's an interesting name. But as you can see here, uh, they give you this kind of classic counter, which is rather fun, that's neat. Uh, and they give you just kind of a quick overview, the stats, like what, what you could expect here, what they've got so far. And uh, you can see right now it's up to 11.4 terabytes, my goodness. And now I don't know if they're keeping this stuff, I don't know if this is them telling you what they've they've archived as far as links go, like you know, virtual data to the links that they're offering, or if they're actually hoarding this data themselves. This this is the part I'm a little confused about, because they they talk about we're we're getting you know getting files from like archive.org and other locations, and I just assume the links were, were going directly to those locations, but they might they might actually be mining these links and keeping this data locally, which is uh, obviously for longevity it might be better in case some of these other URLs go down one day. Um, come down here, they kind of give you the what they do with this website, how it's going to handle uh, certain things and what you can expect. They actually give you a browser compatibility chart here, which is kind of friendly. And you can see here a lot of the modern ones, of course, but then down here, you know, it says good, you know, AWeb, Chameleon, good old eyebrows 2.5, which is what we're on right now. And it seems to be okay. So one of the neat things is, you know, I had a, a, a subscriber of mine looking for a uh, just Amiga CD-ROMs with data on them, like for 3D models, textures, images, because he asked me, where can I download stuff like that, you know, for the retro Amiga? I'm like, well, honestly, it's, I mean, AmyNet was the only place I could think of, and it's going to be whatever, you know, fellow users have uploaded. I mean, back in the day, there were things called LightROM CD-ROMs that contained images and textures and 3D object files that you could use with your various 3D programs on the Amiga. And I was wondering if this website had captured any of those discs. So, I mean, I, there's the CD-ROM section. There's almost 7,000 here. And then you've got, you know, application, animation. Now, one of the things, um, well, right here, images, animated. So I, I'm answering the question right now. Yeah, they do. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here. So here's the animation category. And right there, you've got Amiga CD. We've got Amiga CD 1 and 3. It gives you a year, a publisher, how many files, where the origin is from. So I guess they are keeping this stuff locally. Oh my goodness. And then we're getting into applications here. This is just, you can look over here to the right. You can see the scroller is just going on forever. And this isn't, uh, you know, necessarily Amiga stuff. This is uh, applications. I'm, oh my God. Well, wait, I went to Lux Paint 5. Is this still all Amiga or is this, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say, but that's cool. They give you a, a thumbnail preview of, of the image. That's that's pretty helpful, actually, to get that cool little screenshot of the disc. Man, I, I feel forever had to take all these pictures of these discs, right? Oh my gosh. So, you know, again, using eyebrows on the 68060 here, 
And again, it, it having to process whatever the, the web is doing, it takes a little bit of time to get back to the directory tree, I've noticed. Uh, you probably won't have that issue if you're on a Mac or a Windows system. But yeah, I'm going to quickly just scrub through here in audio. I mean, there's just, just okay, there's any more Amiga stuff. CD-ROM desktop video collection. Well, right in here, that could be some stuff. Adobe Action Pack from Adobe from 1997. So yeah, they're, they're grabbing a lot of stuff here, as you can see. AmyNet. Okay, there you go. There's all of AmyNet, 8 gigs. <laughs> I guess back in 1993. So, so, like I said, to some of you, you might be like, oh yeah, I know about all this stuff. You know, this is overall, it's overall here on archive.org. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But it's neat to see it all kind of, all the relevant stuff linked here. Um, a little more focused and with the search capabilities. This is a lot, I mean, you can just see me going through here. Club Toaster? I mean, what? This is, it just keeps going. Creative, I mean, you can, I, I don't even need to say anything. You can just see what's happening in front of your eyes here. I mean, this is nuts. This is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. And there's magazine. Oh yeah, there's there's full full magazines in here. To, uh, oh, whoa, 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 go back, go back. Click art, did you see that? Go back, go back. Scanning. Scanning. <laughs> I'm so busy uh, babbling about how many things there are, and look what I just found. Light ROM. One, two, three, four, five, oh, all nine. There you go. So that buddy who, who was a subscriber who was looking for the Light ROM discs or 3D object discs to use with Lightwave or Imagine or Turbo Silver, or whatever. Uh, here you go. They've got all the Light ROM discs on here. Let's click one. Okay, so you can see the picture down there. Unfortunately, my time with eyebrows is over because I haven't bought it yet. But yeah, there's, there it is. There's Light ROM. So yeah, you can download all the Light ROMs here and get access to all those groovy um, models and you can get creative. So thanks for watching. Um, this uh, was brought to you not by eyebrows because I didn't buy it, but uh, heck, it's a pretty neat program and it did allow us to browse that website and actually find something we were looking for, uh, the Light ROM files. I, uh, you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to, I'm going to go buy eyebrows because that was pretty silly. Okay. So I wanted to see if I could actually buy this on the Amiga and it looks like, um, I mean, they give you the URL here. So I'm going to go ahead and click down there because that's the same link. And then of course here, um, you can buy it now. It says, now, obviously, I'm not going to enter in my credit card information on this emulator or through the interface. That would be, I don't know, a little risky. And that's, okay, well, okay, so yeah, this isn't going to work. And, you know, I'm doing a quick look over at the Windows version. It does say that you need to be on a non-Amiga web browser to purchase this. So yeah, you can go over to their website. You're just going to have to do it from your Windows or Mac or Linux machine to buy it. But then you'll get the key and be all set. And that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching.